on the bottom. I know, Mama, I know. That's a fresh one. It's not fresh, Mama. It goes on the bottom. It's not fresh, Mama. It's fresh, just like you. It goes on the bottom. All right, Mama, all right. It goes on the bottom. You can say just you. like me. You can say you went on Never mind, Mama, it's on the bottom, okay? Fresh on the bottom, rotten on the top. Don't get smart. <laughs> there. Pretty, huh? Like a picture, huh? Now what? Now you can sit. I can sleep again. Uh, sit with me. Uh, I can't stand sitting around all day. So try standing. See if you can stand standing. I don't want to just stand around all day either. You don't want to stand. You don't want to sit. What do you want to do? Fly? Mama. Here. Draw me a picture. Huh? I'm not in the mood. You're always in a mood. I just don't want to draw, okay? I you don't want to do nothing, then there's nothing to do. I've done a hundred pictures of you already and a thousand of this whole place. I'm quitting drawing. I'm never going to draw again. Never. I'm giving up, just like Frank. Frank didn't give up, and I didn't raise you to be a giver-upper either. Your stand's closed again, Mama. That's three days now. <sighs> Something's happened. <gasps> oh, I'm dumb again. Show the world how you think your mama's dumb by breathing loud. I don't think you're dumb. You always breathe loud when you think I'm dumb. I don't either. Ask Sally. Ask her what? If you're dumb or if I breathe loud. You know what? She's right over there. You can ask her yourself. You know I don't talk to Sally. Go. Ask for your mama. See if she's got any news on Frank. Tell her not to put her prettiest flowers up front like that. She's got to sell the bad ones first. Tell her to save the good ones until they're ready to sell, huh? Well? She ain't heard nothing. What are you, Miss Mind Reader? I asked her yesterday. She ain't heard. Well, yesterday ain't today. I asked her to tell me when she heard. She ain't heard. Oh, man, just don't disappear. Maybe he just finally got wise, Mama. He just packed up and, and went off to a tropical island. And now he lays around all day eating bananas. <laughs> bananas. <laughs> I, you're as crazy as Sally anymore. And you're going to get what she gets. Left with wilting pansies, dead flowers. Wouldn't it be neat if it was true, though? He's sitting mm -hmm. around all day on a big sandy beach with no shoes on. Tossing bottles with notes in them into the ocean for whoever finds one. Dear Lucy, it's just like you always said it was. I don't wear my shoes no more. I eat a fruit with a new name every day. And at night, I lay back on the golden sandy beach and look up at the sky. And guess what I see? Ah, I bet you get it on the first guess. The Southern Cross. What did I tell you? Please call up the president for me and give him the secret message. President, ah. Tell him it's my last because I've decided to retire from the spy business and stay down here and look at the Southern Cross. You probably got run over by a truck, buried without a name. They almost uncovered my cover. Mowed down by a drunk driver. Disguised as a run-down fruit peddler. Coming home from a Next movie. Next to a crazy old lady who only sold rotten tomatoes. In the rain. And her bright young daughter. Coming around the corner, wheels splashing in the rain, puddles shining in the headlights. And now you know the real truth about Frank Puzzo, undercover agent. And the last thing he sees is a bulldog on a radiator two inches from his nose. Did, did, da, da, da. Unknown, squashed by a truck. I bet we get a picture postcard. He'll be standing there with blue water behind him, his pants rolled up to his knees, and the biggest fish you ever saw. <laughs>
cot with a string around his toe and he was laying on the beach. Mm. A porpoise. A bulldog up his nose. Not a real fish, but it looks like a fish. Uh. It's more like a baby whale, kind of. Ah. And the water runs backwards down there. And he could see it every night. Oh, she's going to say it again. The Southern Cross. She's going to say it again. The most striking constellation in the whole sky is the Southern Cross. It is made up of two blue stars, Alpha and Beta Crucis, one red star, Gamma Crucis, and another smaller blue star, Delta Crucis. When due south, the longest arm of the cross stands straight up in the sky, pointing toward the South Pole. The Southern Cross is in one of the brightest parts of the Milky Way. And right next to it, is a dark cloud called the coal sack. And next to that are Alpha and Beta Centauri, two of the closest stars to the Earth, except for the Sun, which is a star too. Taken all together, the Southern Cross is considered to be the most magnificent part of the sky. But one cannot see the Southern Cross, the coal sack, or Alpha Centauri from the United States because they are too far south for us below the equator. Thank you. <laughs> Stars are white. Not down there. The Britannica says they're red and blue. Everything's different down there. Everything. I never saw no blue stars. That's because you can't see them from here. Weren't you listening? They are below the equator. And you can't see any of that from where we are. I listened to you a hundred times, a hundred and one now. Who ever heard of blue stars, water running backwards? Who wants to live in a crazy place like that, huh? Lots of people. Me one day. Oh, uh -huh. what are you going to do? Hitchhike down a baby whale? You just don't understand. <sighs> I understand. I understand Frank ain't been open in three days. I understand everything he's got in there is going to be rotting away. All he's going to have left when he gets back is a lot of stinking lonely fruit. Oh, what happened to Bulldog up his nose, squashed by a truck? A man's got to stand. He don't open it, he might as well be dead. I say he went south. <laughs> Baby whales. You never talked about baby whales before. I said they were like baby whales. Purposes. I didn't say they were baby whales. Uh, fish that ain't fish pretending to be fish. Oh. Show the world how you think your mama's dumb by breathing loud. I huh? don't think you're dumb. I know what that means. What? You know what, breathing loud. Go ahead, say I'm dumb. It's a free country. Jesus Christ! Don't you swear at me. I wasn't swearing. I said our Savior's name. No. I know what swearing is. You want to talk dirty? Go down to the other end where the bums are, huh? This end is still good. You and Frank and Sally? That's right. Three stands left. Two if Frank don't come back. And no bums. They'll be up here someday. Ah, not while your mama's breathing. One day, just like today, there'll be a bum laying right there. Right in front of the stand when you come to open up in the morning. Yeah, that'll be one sorry bum. And the next morning there'll be two. Two sorry bums. And then three and four. Pretty soon there'll be nothing but bums. Just like down there. And maybe one of them will be Frank. When you come to open up, one of them bums will be Frank. Gave up fighting them off and joined them. Ah, oh, I thought he was out catching baby whales with his big toe. Or maybe they got him against his will. They're going to take him hostage and hold him for a ransom. They're going to make you put all your good tomatoes on top before they let him go. <laughs> what uh, would you do? <laughs> hey, you want to play games? Go get the cribbage. We'll play cards. Would huh? you do it if they had Frank and they wanted you to put your best on top? That's a dumb question. But if. Well, there ain't no if. Um, oh, stop that. You sound like a water heater. Hey, you expect any nice boys to take out a girl that sounds like a water heater? There huh? aren't any boys around here, Mama. If there were, they wouldn't take out a girl that sounded like a water heater. Even the paper boy's an old man. Where else in the whole world is the paper boy an old man? Well, at least he ain't a bum. 
Besides, I'm too old for boys. Oh, miss, grown up now, eh? I'm not a baby anymore, even if you don't think so. Yeah, don't be in such a hurry. You're gonna spend the rest of your life getting old. In a dead-end row. Well, when you get old enough, you can go anywhere you want. You can even fly to where they got red stars if you want to. I'm old enough now, Mama. No, you ain't. Okay, when? When I say so. Oh, it's not fair and you know it. Oh, what's fair? Who says a mama's got to be fair, huh? You see anything on your birth certificate about fair? Just feet. Go on. Get the cards. Huh? We'll play cribbage. I don't want to do nothing. Only dead people do nothing. And bums. I suppose you're doing something? Yeah, well, I'm waiting for a customer. He could wait all day. If I wasn't waiting, I wouldn't be doing nothing. Just like me. Wait with me, huh? I don't want to wait around all day for customers that never come. Oh, Mrs. Jefferson hasn't come by yet this week. It's only Tuesday. Well, if she don't come today, maybe she'll come tomorrow. And if she don't come by tomorrow? Well, then I'll have something to do on Thursday. You could spend your whole week waiting for that fat old Mrs. Jefferson. Uh, steady customers are the best customers. Mm. Besides, she makes good tomato sauce. She smells. She buys tomatoes. He could at least say something to her. What? <laughs> I'm going to tell a steady customer they stink. Okay, wait around all day for a noseful. I don't care. She buys tomatoes. She buys tomatoes. And steady customers are the best customers. Tomato stand law number one. Yeah. Your papa had a lot of rules. They were all good ones. Never tell a customer they stink. Everybody stinks sometimes. Even Angela? Even you, and don't call your papa Angelo. Why? That was his name, wasn't it? Angelo the foreman? He was the best foreman ever. Oh, boy, he told the bosses what to do. Yeah, he could sell in two languages, both hands at the same time. I know, Mama. You told me a hundred times. I listen to your stars. You can listen about your papa. I want to hear, Mama, but oh, I don't want to... Wanna... was alive then. Ah. Wall to wall, customers, sellers, every stand was busy and open. But what about you, Mama? Weren't you alive, too? Yeah. Didn't you ever touch him or kiss him? What was his voice like? He could have been an Indian for all I know about him. Uh, Indian? Indian named Angelo? Hey, what about Angelo the Eskimo, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, Angelo the Eskimo, all ice and foreman, too cold to touch, too bossy to kiss. Uh, what do you think you are, a chicken? I sat in an egg to hatch you? Hmm? Then tell me, Mama, tell me. Did he have hair on his back? <laughs> Did he have a belly button that stuck in or out? Oh, in, it went in. Did are he you satisfied now? Did he get lint stuck in it? Oh, that's enough about belly buttons. Why? He was a man, wasn't he? Didn't he get hungry and eat food? He went to the bathroom, didn't he? Lucy. Didn't he ever stop sewing with both hands long enough to even take his pants off? Someday, Mama. Someday what? about him. Not about a foreman, but a husband. A man. Maybe. Please. Ah, uh, it was too long ago. I don't remember so good. You remember how he could sell. Oh, well, that's different. You can still see the name and the writing, the noises and the voices, huh? Papa's. <sighs> Angelo, huh? My angel.
from the top, Mama don't sell from the bottom. <coughs> Just a minute. <coughs> all right, all right. Frank! <laughs> well, I ain't no customer. That's real money. Frank Puzzo never stuck a phony dollar bill in his ear yet, and never will. Hey, what do you think? Where'd you get it all? <laughs> Where's your mama? Go into the bathroom. Where'd you get it all? 962 bucks. Ooh. Would have been 63, but I lit a cigar with one. A thousand dollars almost. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've never seen so much. <laughs> yeah, you can hold it. <laughs> Woo, it's heavy. <laughs> yeah. And warm. Yeah, like it's got its own heat, you know. I mean, you get a whole roll like that together, it starts to do something. I think it's a special ink they use or something. You sold your stand. <laughs> Are you kidding? I couldn't get five bucks for that. You had to do something, gone three days straight, and you come back with 10 pounds of money all rolled up and sticking out of your ears? Well, I did do something. I went out and got me $963, and I lit a cigar with one of them. Mama's <laughs> going to be mad at you. She doesn't like to worry and then find out nothing bad happened. Uh, she was worried about me, huh? Yep. Well, then she'll be extra happy for me, right? Who ever heard of Frank Puzo with a thousand bucks? <laughs> a thousand bucks, free and clear, <laughs> to spend our light cigars with. Frank Puzo in his thousand lights. <laughs> with his new used car. Two pairs of shoes in his closet. Frank Puzo giving <laughs> presents away to his friends. Watching the ball game on a brand new color TV. Frank Puzo with, with his... With a bulldog up his nose. What do I? That's how you died. Didn't you know? What do you mean died? Mama killed you off. With a bulldog? Up your nose. Oh, that'll kill you all right. Squashed by a truck with one of them bulldogs in the front in the rain. <laughs> Three days away and I get squashed by a truck. I said you was catching porpoises with your shoes off. <laughs> bulldogs and porpoises. Boy, what a theme. I've been up for three days straight, thinking I'm doing all right. A thousand bucks almost. I come back and what do I get? Fish bait for toes and a dog in my nose. Boy, you two are really something. You're loony, sitting around here all day long with your tomatoes upside down and killing people off like you was Al Capone or something. You've been gambling. I didn't say it was gambling. Up three days straight and a thousand dollars sticking out of your ears. You wanted gambling, didn't you? Yeah, but don't you tell your mama. Oh, she'd really kill you. She don't have to know if someone don't open that big mouth. Frank's been gambling. Frank's been gambling. Lucy's been dreaming again. Lucy's been dreaming again. I ain't been dreaming. <laughs> so what if I did? Ah, it's no crime. Catching porpoises with my shoes off, huh? You had me sitting around one of them south of the border tropical islands, didn't you? My shoes off. Looking up at them peacock-colored stars of yours. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta Crucis. Real stars with scientific names in Latin. Hey, that's the big pie in the sky. All blue and red like lights flashing for gas and eats at the next turnoff. Fill her up. Fresh papaya. Fresh papaya in the sky. Fresh papaya in the sky. Fresh papaya in the sky. You didn't have to come back here, you know. Mama had you dead already. A man don't open his stand, he might as well be dead. At least I put you on a beach. Hey, I wasn't making fun. I'm happy. I got a thousand bucks and I'm singing. About papayas in the sky. Well, okay. I'll, uh... I'll sing about something else. I'll, uh, I'll sing about uh, bulldogs. I got a bulldog up my nose. And I catch fish with my toes. <laughs> I've been gambling three days straight, and I got me the prettiest date. <laughs> I got a thousand, and it sure is pretty. <laughs> a thousand and it sure is pretty. How's that better? Okay. Okay. She. A guy's been up for three days and three nights, comes back here, dances you all around the road, and all you get is okay? You've been gambling all that time? You don't win a thousand taking naps, honey. I'd be dead. You know what? I am. 
I got a bulldog up my nose, remember? Ooh, she's gonna be mad at you. <laughs> mad at me because I ain't dead. That's your mama. What are you really gonna do with it, Frank? I don't know. Go south, maybe. Maybe I'll go see them stars of yours. See if they're really like what you've been dreaming all this time. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll buy me a banana plantation. Sit around all day, eating the profits right off the tree. Take my shoes off. <laughs> and walk along them golden beaches. With my toes free to wiggle in the sand all they want. Hey, can you see me? Frank Puzzo, top banana. You mean it, maybe? <laughs> Why not? What do I gotta hang around here for? I mean, what's... What's the sky for if you can't see the whole thing? Ain't that what you said? And that Southern Cross is the best part, ain't it? Let me come with you. Oh, oh baby. I was just talking. What do you think a thousand dollars is? It's just a big wad of little bills. You can't build a whole new world with a thousand bucks. Just do a little remodeling, that's all. Besides, what about your mama, huh? The only thing she cares about is dead stuff. Rotten tomatoes. Oh, she keeps the good ones for herself, Lucy. Yeah. All hidden away. Hidden away underneath, see? One good tomato, ripe and ready from the bottom of the stack. Never to know the light of day anymore till it's too late to know what to do with sunshine. You're gonna see the light of day, kid. But when I get to the top, the only thing I'm going to be able to do is sit around and wait for Mrs. Jefferson's stinky daughter or something. Okay. Okay. You want to go south? You want to go somewhere where they sit around and stare at that color TV in the sky? Huh? You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Get yourself a poker game. Stay in it for three days and three nights. Win yourself a thousand bucks. But don't expect anybody to be happy for you. Because they only want that thousand for their own dream. And they get mad at you if you don't have the same dream they got. You got to go out and have that dream for yourself. Hi, Mama. That's a good tomato you got. I know, Mama. Any customers? No, Mama. Hey, what do you think, Mama? Oh, I spent too long in the bathroom. I'm hearing things. No, you ain't, Mama. What are you, radar ears? You can tell if I'm hearing things? Frank's back, Mama. Well, when I see an open stand over there, I'll believe it. I'm leaving the room, Mama. <sighs> I made up my mind. Give me back my good tomato. You got nothing else to say? I never talk to a man with money in his ear. Or a bulldog up his nose? Why don't you go to the bathroom? I ain't gotta go. You've been here all day without going. Just because I told him about the bulldog up his nose. You tell him he was a bum too? Did you tell him he gave up fighting him off and joined him? No. Well, then I'll tell him. You gave up. You left your stand and joined the bums. I got a present for you. The ace of hearts, Mama. You cheated! Shh, I didn't cheat. I just took the ace with me when I left because I had something I want to do with it. Well, you've been gambling again. I won, Mama. You could have lost. But I won. 962 bucks. And the ace for you. You lit a cigar with a dollar bill, Mama. I don't want your ace. I knew you was going to say that. So... It ain't no ace no more. <laughs> now you want to give me garbage. It's my heart, Mama. I got me 962 bucks, Mama. And I don't want to spend no more time on this row. Let the bums have it now. I could get me a good job in a regular store. 
We could take a honeymoon to the Grand Canyon. I made up my mind before that game was even over. I mean, I, I could have could have lost it all, just like all those other times. I could have come out a loser, but I didn't, Mama. This is Frank Puzzo, finally a winner, standing here holding out his heart to you. That stand is closed for good, Mama. For good. She's dead. Mama? Shocked to death. Ain't you got nothing to say? You got ugly feet. I'm proposing to you. Feet too? Will you forget the feet? They're standing there like dead animals. Mama. I got my heart in my hand. And I'm asking you, will you marry me, Mama? I ain't your mama, <sighs> but I am yours. You're screwing it all up. You want to do it? Mama. Well, then leave the loud breathing out of it. You could have answered him. You, you, you don't talk to a man like that who's going crazy. I'm sorry. Ah, the hell with it. The hell with it. I'm crazy, me. I got a thousand bucks. You got a clothes stand full of stinking lonely fruit. I let it stink. The whole place stinks. I'm never opening up. Never. What are you going to do? I had an idea, Mama. A good idea. Try again, Frank. She's just doing this because she was worried about you. You go to the bathroom. I ain't got to go. I know when you got to go. Here, take your heart. Try again, Frank, please. You're going to blow up right in front of everybody. We could all get out of here. Who wants to go, huh? You see anybody around here wants to go anywhere, huh? I know somebody who better go somewhere. I ain't got to go, Mama, and I'm too old for you to be telling me when to go to the toilet anymore. You give Frank back his paper heart and go to the bathroom. I do. Ah, oh, you got your brains in your feet. That's what you got. Coming in here with dollar bills sticking out of your ears, lighting cigars with money, walking around with your ugly feet doing card tricks. Where's your big nose, Mr. Circus Clown? I got a bulldog in it, remember? Gambling. You said you wasn't going to gamble no more. I had nothing to lose. That's no gamble. Well, you could have ended up owing again, working two jobs to pay off again. But I won. I won, Mama. And I'm playing my last hand. I'm putting it all in the pot. Winner take all on a draw of the cards. Showdown, Mama. And you can draw the ace if you want. I ain't in the mood for card tricks. One card, Mama. You take it and we can both be winners. I said I ain't in the mood for card tricks. This ain't no trick. It's all out in the open. I got no more cards up my sleeve. You get what you see. I see a closed stand full of stinking lonely fruit. That's what I see. No, you don't. You know what you see? You see a disappearing act. That's what you see. Piece by piece. How's that, huh? No card, no heart. Just garbage, just like you said. The whole thing up in smoke. Huh? You got a dollar in smoke, your hearts in pieces. Yeah, my dream's just not big enough for you, is it? Huh. Not big enough. A produce man in the grocery store. A regular paycheck. No bums. Two weeks in the Grand Canyon. Ain't big enough for you, huh? It don't shine when you say it. 
and don't sparkle. It's full of potatoes and onions. It ain't big enough for you, is it? Not after all, Dreamboat. Angelo. <laughs> the man with a thousand dreams. What am I after that? What do you think he's doing now, Mama? Sitting on top of some 24 carat mountain, picking his teeth with stars? He's dead. Yeah. Maybe he's got a rainbow up his tail, huh? Angelo's dead. And it's dragging him all over creation. He's dead. But how'd he die, Mama, huh? Tell me, how'd he die? He got a squashed by a big mama truck? Did he get a bulldog up his nose, huh? No, I saved that for you. Angelo's... Yeah? Got hit by lightning. My nut, Jill, me say. Yeah. He was uh, flying a kite in the middle of a big storm. So I said my Angelo was dead. And I'd remember him before he got crazy. Before he got hit in the head with that lightning and ran away from me. As bad as Lucy. Maybe someday that piece of lightning's gonna fall out of his head. And you're gonna be waiting here, huh? There'll be a crazy man walking around out there with a piece of sky in his head where my Angelo used to be. Now listen to me. That Angelo was a dreamer long before you ever met him. He wasn't hit by lightning. He was born with it, flying around inside his crazy head. Well, let me tell you something. Wherever he is, you can bet one thing. He doesn't remember who the hell you are. You've got a funny way of proposing, Mr. Puzzo. I held out the ace, Mama. I was going to draw a whole new hand with the ace leading the way. But only a loser plays like that. That's a last chance gamble. And I was playing smart. For the first time in my life, I was playing smart. I even won a hand on a bluff. Me. I never bluffed anyone. And what do I do now? I'm playing my... my my last hand, just like I played my whole life. Hold back the ace and draw a whole new hand. And what do you deal me? A lousy pair of threes. What? You think I'm going to jump into the Grand Canyon with the first man that asks? Not the first man, Mama. The only man. The last customer you got. Customer. Customers buy tomatoes. Okay, I'll buy. I'll buy your tomatoes. Okay, mister, how many pounds of rotten tomatoes you want? I want the best tomato you got. I don't sell good. I want from the bottom, Mama, not from the top, the very bottom. I sell from the top. A nice, firm, ripe tomato. You ain't got enough for a good tomato. I don't, huh? How much? 10, 20, 50? What's the price of a good tomato, huh? Too much, Frank. How much? More than you got, Frank. I got 962 bucks, Mama. It ain't enough, Frank. It's a lot, but it ain't enough. It's all the money I got. Well, you're a dollar short. Oh, why don't you put your money back in your ears and go open your stand. Dollar short, huh? Okay. Nine hundred and sixty-three. My lucky silver dollar. Okay, customer. One good tomato. You happy now? Yeah. That's a good solid tomato. Hey, yeah, Mama. Here's your good tomato, squashed with a cat's paw up its nose. You want to walk on a $900 tomato? That's your business. Look at it, Mama. It's like your heart. Finally bleeding for something. Huh? What are them little seeds, huh? Kidney stones? No. They're just seeds. Uh, you better keep your eye on it, Mom, if you don't want it to grow, because seeds, <laughs> they try to grow. Even here, they'll sprout a little light, and they'll grow. 
Are you going to open up? No, Mama. You got it all to yourself. Now all you got to do is get rid of Sally and you got this whole place to yourself. The best man on the road. You owe me 50 cents for that tomato. No, I don't. No, I don't, Mama. You owe me 50 cents. All those times I gambled everything away I owed you. Now you owe me 50 cents. Oh, Frank, I'm a crazy old lady. It ain't your fault, Mama. You were hit by lightning. Goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Frank. Um, I'll tell Lucy you went south. Oh. Don't tell her I went south, Mama. Tell her the truth. Oh. She's gonna breathe loud at me. What are you looking at? Offering me flowers? I don't want no flowers. I don't even want to talk to you, Sally. From the front. You'd be sitting there looking at nothing but an empty row full of bums. I want flowers. I'll buy flowers from the back. Wilton pansies, that's what I'd buy. Oh, oh, she's gonna breathe loud at me. I got a daughter that's like a water heater. Oh, she's gonna breathe loud one time right after another. Who's gonna marry a girl like that, huh? Someone with stars in his head. Someone else with stars in his head. That's true.